Uganda has the highest number of female entrepreneurs in Africa, with 90% of the women borrowing and saving money to start their businesses. This number is expected to increase if only women business owners are willing to network amongst themselves. When women get together, they're able to have a voice. Women in business are able to get together and have a voice, be able to advocate, because when you're alone, as we have said, you don't know everything. And, and you can't speak alone. So there's power in numbers, and that is why we network. The Women in Business Belated International Women's Day virtual event, hosted by Uganda Investment Authority and Opportunity Bank, focused on the importance of change in business and creating linkages between business and technology amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Embrace change. Embrace change and allow to change. You know, what was there before COVID-19 is different. The way you used to operate before COVID-19 is different. If you stick to the old way of doing things, you will possibly be left behind or even pushed out of business. Through the Uganda Women Entrepreneurs Network, women business owners all over the country are bound to expand their knowledge and access various markets. So our network brings together a diverse cross-section of women, women in all categories, whether they are big or small, whether they are medium, whether they are in the urban areas or in the rural areas. Like Susan Chirumira, once a samosa vendor turned hardware owner, women have been urged to apply for loans in order to start their own businesses to support their families socially and economically. I started making samosas when we used to sell samosa at 50 shillings. But after getting a loan of 100,000, I got strength. After finishing samosas for one packet, I go and buy another packet I make for a, the same for the same day, so that I can get the money. That's how I learn how to make much money. Because now I'm doing a hardware job. I'm no longer in samosas. Small and medium enterprises contribute over 25% of Uganda's gross domestic product and employ about 45% of the labor force. Charlotte Amuge and Robin Yoso for UBC Business.